Hello everyone, welcome back to Child of the Kingdom. Thank you guys for joining me again today for another video. I'm here with my plants, okay, so the aesthetic is back, okay? <laughs> but today we're going to talk about why it's important to kind of move forward from feeling jealous of pretty people especially pretty Christian people, okay? Quick, quick chat. We all have our insecurities. Everybody's insecure about something, okay? When I was younger, if you guys didn't notice, I have a gap in my teeth. When I was younger, I used to be so insecure about my gap. I wouldn't even, like, talk to people. I wouldn't even, you know, interact with people. I would be so insecure because I'm like, they're looking at my teeth. They're looking at my teeth. And maybe they were looking at my teeth, but, like, that's how I was born this way. Like, people in my family have it, and I love it now. But when I was younger, I was like, oh, my gosh, I'm still ugly. <laughs> so anybody who didn't have a gap was, like, goals for me because I'm like, I wish I had their teeth. And I went through, like, extensive measures to try and, like, change myself um, just to kind of fit in and be pretty. You know what I mean? When I was in high school, I'm definitely wasn't, I definitely wasn't in like the pretty group or whatever. Like I was just kind of like a floater. I had some friends who were popular and I had some friends who nobody even knew they went to our school. You know what I mean? I was really just like an in-betweener, which I enjoyed. I enjoyed my in-between experience. And then coming out of school, I think I kind of just gained confidence in myself. You know what I mean? With or without makeup, with or without my wigs and my weaves, just as a person, I think I just gained confidence within myself. We all are kind of like in different stages within our self-esteem journey or our self-love journey or whatever it is and you are completely allowed to love yourself it is completely okay there's this dominant narrative all about like self-deprecating um ideas and attitudes you know like saying like oh i look like a potato oh like i'm so ugly like oh i don't even know how to put mascara on like it's like a it's like a culture a self-deprecating culture that i don't think believers should subscribe to because as we are in christ like god makes us beautiful he made us beautiful he created us in his image right we are fearfully and wonderfully made like this the potter's hands made you from clay like do you know what i'm trying to say like you are beautiful do you think god could make something ugly no so if he made you then you're not ugly anywho but we find that a lot of christian people and especially young people maybe even not young people just anybody um we tend to have these negative attitudes towards pretty people and the reason being is because we think they are you know self-centered and they're pretty so they think they're better than us and they're pretty so they think they know more and they're pretty and they have more friends and maybe they're part of a bigger group than you maybe they're just pretty whatever it is sometimes people's prettiness like agitates our comfortability because we feel like their prettiness somehow provokes us right and so i'm here to kind of discuss that i think the first thing we should understand that like before jesus even went up like before he ascended he said he commissioned us with something right to spread the gospel that's really what like our assignment is it doesn't matter if you are a blogger if you're a screenwriter if you're a chef like your mission on this earth is to spread the gospel and the good news of jesus christ in order for souls to be saved right we're on this earth for a very temporary amount of time you don't know when the rapture is going to come and you don't know when you're going to die and so you can't say like oh you know we all have 80 years to live like we don't right and so at the end of the day our goal here, our mission here is to spread the gospel, to share the truth of Jesus Christ to as many people as possible so that they can be saved and have access to eternal life, right? And be forgiven of their sins. So with that, um, we should understand that your group of friends and your cousins and your co-workers, that's your, that's your bubble, right? And the pretty people may have a bigger bubble than you right pretty people have access to certain people and certain ears that maybe you don't have access to i'll give you an example if there's a pretty girl and she's a lover of god she's professing christ she's on her grind trying to save souls for the kingdom but she's prettier than you maybe she has a bigger social circle she goes to more events or whatever the case is instead of hating her you should acknowledge like you know what she reaches people that I probably couldn't reach, right? Her group of friends and maybe the people in the music industry, the people in the modeling industry, whatever it is, people on Instagram who follow her page, whatever the case may be, she has reached to certain to a certain demographic that you may not have reached to. And you should be praising the Lord because Lord, I don't know how to reach these cool people on Instagram because they don't want to listen to what I have to say. However, you raised up an army and she's in that army like I'm in that army and she can tend to those sheep and I can tend to these sheep. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, it should make us glad that there are people all different backgrounds, all different, you know, jobs, all different faces, different ethnicities that are spreading the gospel and drawing people near to hear about Jesus Christ. Remember, anytime a soul is one, heaven is literally turning up. 
like angels are dance like rejoicing do you know what i mean like it is the biggest turn up in heaven when a soul is won and so anyone who can strategically evangelize and and draw people closer because of their prettiness or because of their beauty we should be glad right because those people may not listen to your your podcast and those people may not watch your youtube videos and those people may not be followers of you on instagram you get what I'm trying to say? And so we should be glad. Let's change our perspective. It's not every pretty person that's entitled. It's not every pretty person that's, you know, that feels they're better than you. Sometimes people are just beautiful. You know what I mean? Sometimes people are just absolutely stunning. And that is allowed. Be glad that they are still in the kingdom, that they're still evangelizing, that they're still out here you know what I mean? Doing it big and making sure that the name of Jesus Christ is being professed and shared. And that's what's most important. And if you have this complex where you see beautiful people and you feel intimidated or you feel provoked, like it provokes you in some kind of way, like we need to shift our thinking. Beautiful people, saved or not saved, have access to certain groups. Beautiful people uh, attract eyes and attention. And so when beautiful people are professing the gospel of Jesus Christ, more people can listen to the gospel of Jesus Christ because it's not everybody who's going to listen to you right you weren't the only one sent to spread the good news right all of us have commissioned have been commissioned to do that and if i see a beautiful person that is saved i'm like get a girl you better make those instagram posts with the beautiful face and put in the caption romans 12 12 you know what i'm trying to say you better do it because it's your responsibility pretty or not right pretty or not like i said we're all pretty but i'm saying conventionally attractive that's basically what i'm talking about because you know beauty is just so like it's borderless right it just is so extensive so that's pretty much what i want to say what do you think in your life reflect on your life and just ask yourself like do pretty people provoke me am i comfortable being around beautiful people do i feel intimidated or lesser than being around beautiful people can i accept that there are beautiful people who are in the kingdom of god that that there are conventionally attractive people that are going to spread the gospel alongside me right we're not in opposition alongside of each other right so i hope you enjoyed this video you're all beautiful so don't even don't even catch any feelings you're beautiful don't worry about it okay girl okay i love you guys so much and i will talk to you guys in my next video bye